Hello. So today we, um, we're going to compare the iPhone 6 Plus to the iPhone 6S Plus and unbox a my silico case for the 6 Plus. 6S Plus. 6S Plus. He has the leather case, just like I did. And he got, in his case, he got the charcoal gray one. Whereas I had the white one, which you guys have all seen in the other video. So first we'll do this. The, like the other one, it has the nice handy dandy orange arrow to tell you where to peel it. Peel it. And I will take off his... So, here we go. And Yay! Off it comes. And just like... Oops, I turned the... And just like the leather, like the video I did before, the leather has the microfiber, but it's this one is also not as sturdy, I think, as this one. This one has the nice microfiber also, but it just seems more sturdy. Mm -hmm. And just judging from the feel of the buttons on hers, I like the fact that with the leather, it, it's kind of almost hard to push the buttons. I mean, if you was constantly accidentally hitting buttons, it might be good to have the leather one, where it'd be a little harder if he was in your pocket to accidentally hit to push them. But I think I'm, I think I like the fact on hers that when you do the buttons, they're not they're easier to operate the buttons with it. And actually, this I thought this was black when I saw it in the store, and I thought it was black even after you know over time or whatever. It is actually gray and not too bad of a gray i mean i prefer the white myself but it's it's actually a nice charcoal gray when they tell you it's gray they mean gray it's not black so it'll go with about anything as far as color wise so he's gonna put that on and mess around with a couple buttons and let's see how he easy it pops in i'll do the top first just slides right in the top. Whoops. And I'm gonna work it down to the bottom. Nice, simple, easy slide in. No, not very hard to do. Um, so, one thing I don't like about the silicone it is it's kind of slippery when you're holding onto it. But I find I can get used to it, and it doesn't get dirty. I have the white one, and I've had my white one for like I don't know how long. Um, three. I think the last video I made when I got this was two or three weeks ago. I'm not for certain. I'll have to look at the dates, but it's still white. Perfectly pristine white. It doesn't seem to get dirty. And his, you know, even if it did get dirty, you wouldn't be able to tell with his now because it's- It's a charcoal gray. It's a charcoal gray. So. But it's nice and smooth. I like the smooth and how do you like the buttons? Oh, the buttons are good. Cause you can actually feel the button click where the leather, I couldn't feel the button clicking or not. But it seems very, very easy. You can hear the little click. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's I, very... The buttons actually feel like I have better control with them than the leather. So I do, I do prefer... I, I can put up with a little bit of slipperiness when you're holding the phone. Um, I can put up with that because I know I can hold on to it tight. As opposed to use of use functionality I guess is the word you'd want functionality and it's just I we do we, we prefer these anyways so for the purpose of our demonstration since you've seen you've all seen my phone 50 billion times <laughs> we will use these are both his phones this is his 6s plus this is his 6 plus we switched from Verizon to T-Mobile, and when we did, we went from 16 gigabyte phones. I need to check the time on this. We can only do, okay, four minutes. We can only do uh, 14 minutes at a time, so we'll have to make this quick. quick. Um, so we switched from Verizon to T-Mobile, and we got 64 gigabyte phones instead of 16. The 64 I like better. There's more space. We can hold more pictures, videos, stuff like that. And if you would take that one, I will take this one, and I will show you some of the 
major differences. For example, if we, now we're not going to be able to see the icons really well because of the quality of camera we have, but we can't get a better camera until we figure out our internet speed because DSL doesn't upload fast from a laptop and I, we don't like sitting for three hours waiting for a 14 minute video to upload. So I'm going to find the camera app on this phone, which is right there. Oops, I didn't want to open it. And you find the camera app on your phone, your new phone. It should be right here. And then I'll hold it down and see if you hold it down on the six, nothing. Hold it down on the 6S, it has a and, pop -up screen. and a pop-up screen comes up that says, take selfie, record video, record slow-mo, and take photo. I wish you could see if you hold it at an angle. Now, if you hold it like that, you can see. Because, like I said, our camera, as soon as we figure out what we're going to do with our internet, not that we're going to do anything, but we'll be using the iPad. But that's the main, that's the thing I like best about these 3D touch things. That it has all these pop-up menus that makes accessing apps so much easier. The other thing I noted, which I will take the case off my phone since he just put it on his phone. Um, they are very, that I noticed was a bit different that a lot of people aren't going to notice. Is I thought, if we put them side to side, side by side, I thought... The 6S uh, Plus is actually thinner than the 6S Plus. And the 6 Plus is a darker gold than the 6S Plus. Both are very minute details and don't really matter so much other than, you know, case size. But you'll notice that I bought this for my 6 Plus and it's a 6S Plus case and it fits both phones. I did put, this is a Tech 21 case for a 6 Plus. I tried it on the 6S Plus. It was a tight fit. So there is a size difference, and I wouldn't recommend trying to stretch a 6 Plus case. Just for future reference. But, I mean, I'm sure you could do it, and it's not going to damage the case, but I thought it was a tight fit. But those are the two small differences I noticed, and... Okay, I have a camera on, apparently. Now, what are some differences you noticed? Um, with, well, with the pictures on this, the 6 Plus, you ha do have the, I forget what you call it, but you can actually, if you look at a photo, you can put your finger on the photo, and it'll uh, play play part oh, of it. Oh, yes, the, the, live, the live. live photo. Let's see if I can. we can do an example of something that's okay for example this is a just a generic picture of my parents cat and I took a picture of him thinking he would sit for the picture and he did not but if you press your finger on it you can see him move and come up to the camera and it's just it's it's neat yeah I'll do it again see there he came up to the camera because I called his name so when you take a picture it actually takes a short short period of video after it which isn't really, like, here's here's a rainbow picture I took driving down um, the road. I wasn't driving, but see, it takes a short little video, and that's just, it's, it's neat. But yet it keeps the photo. When you email the photo, the live, live stuff don't transfer. Yeah, it though. doesn't, which is weird, because this is a picture he took on his phone of the same cat, and... It doesn't do anything. He texted it to me. So I would have this picture. Because this is the picture I was intending to try and take. <laughs> You'll notice he's nice and sitting. But if you do the same picture on his phone. No, nine minutes. Okay, a couple more minutes and then we'll be done with this video. If you, if you find the picture with his phone. And you can hear me talking in the background while he's... Because it does get the audio, It gets apparently. audio as well. Um, another thing I like about it that most phones do, most of these phones do, is the time lapse. And this is... You can't really see her face, but I'll allow... I'll, this is our daughter 
time-lapse shuffling cards. Sort of. Making stacks. But I really like the time-lapse. It's fun. But the, all the other phones did that too. Or with iOS 9, it does that. But other than that... Because you already, on your phone, you already did the calendar... 3D Touch and all that stuff? No, I did not do the calendar 3D Touch. Where'd we have you... time for that. We have like two more minutes. Where if you do a 3D Touch on the calendars, it also it has that drop-down menu that lets you just add an event without having to open your whole application. There, there's add an event. And then if you actually go to the calendar and you pick a day, we'll go with March and you hold down the 27th, it'll come up. Okay, it won't do that because you have this on. The list. Let, me, let me do it on mine because we only have a couple minutes. Okay, I'll go to March 27th on mine, and it will get a window that says Easter Sunday. March 27th is Easter Sunday. You move your finger, it goes away, but, but I found that was pretty interesting. But that is our experience with the 6S Plus. We really like it. We like the extra space. And um, our in our next, uh, if you have, if you want to leave us comments about what you like about the 6S Plus, leave a comment below. Um, our next video will be unboxing and demonstrating a new paper shredder, um, Fellows Paper Shredder. So if you like this video, please click like and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Bye.